Separatists celebrate near the entrance to the city of Aden. It's believed the UAE conducted an airstrike targeting government positions that allowed the separatists to retake territory they'd lost to Saudi-backed government forces 24 hours earlier. The separatists pulled in troops from the front lines fighting the Houthis. We managed to retake all of Aden and we are now clearing the city of sleeper cells. We urge all residents in every district to hand over all elements from those sleeper cells. They are invaders. We don't want traitors among us. Separatists from the Southern Transitional Council are part of the Saudi UAE coalition that's fighting against the Houthis. But in a dramatic twist less than three weeks ago, they took over the city of Aden, the seat of the Saudi-backed, internationally recognized Yemeni government. Allah 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 On Wednesday, its forces recaptured the port city. Both sides say they're now in control. The violence has exposed an apparent rift in the Saudi-UAE coalition, with each country backing opposing sides in southern Yemen. Saudi is caught in this awkward limbo whereby it does not necessarily want to discard its alliance with the UAE, but it knows that if Yemen divides, then the humiliation will be on Saudi Arabia and not necessarily on the UAE. Saudi Arabia knows that if Yemen splits between North and South, South is likely to be pro-UAE, North is likely to be pro-Iran, Saudi Arabia is the party that loses. Government forces say they're sending reinforcements to Aden. 60,000 people have left the city, but tens of thousands remain in harm's way as the fighting intensifies. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.